Hello everyone, this is Bentley from Kent, Washington, and it's been a little while, uh, we got some, some equipment upgrades, so let's do a few updates around the fish room with a, a new camera to give us some much better images. Uh, so first off, this is the 40 breeder that has the Pelvicochromus tenaeatus bupendi fry, uh, if you remember, the, the mother gets a lovely like purple and gold color. Uh, as you can see, just kind of with me getting this camera, sorry it's a little fuzzy, the focus is uh, something I have to get used to, but all of these fry are, are cleanly sexable. They're not to the part where they're pairing up quite yet, so they're basically perfect for shipping as soon as weather gets just slightly warmer in this area. Um, so my buddy Baron, get in contact with me, buddy, and uh, we'll get some of those coming your way here soon. And then we're going to jump over and look at the uh, albino koi guppies, and as you can see, we got color coming in. So the most colorful, um, pretty much all male, <laughs> are the most colorful ones. If they've got some color in their nose, they, for the most part, are male. Uh, and then there's also like a little random rainbow baby that's floating around that uh, one random egg was on a piece of plant that got in there and it hatched and now we got a rainbow baby growing up with them. Uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be me without baby growing some rainbows, right? <laughs> um, so then we'll we'll kick over to the 29. Um, this is speaking of rainbow babies, this is the last of my Bosmani rainbow fry that we saw in the 90 gallon for a long time. Uh, some other stuff has moved into that 90 gallon. We moved the babies. For the most part, I'm down to very few of the, well, about 50 or so. We have one male and six females left. You can see that wonderful, beautiful Ayumaru Bosmane there. It's got that kind of yellow-orange tone, nice deep blue-green, uh, getting close to almost blacks in the front. And then you can see some of the females jetting through here too. Um, if you happen to have gone to Aquarium Co-op within the last couple of months and you bought some Bosmane rainbows, you most likely bought my fish. Uh, <laughs> finally, we'll go to the adult tank. Um, this was kind of me just, just trying to show some of the colors and some of the fish a little better with the new camera. So these are the Goldie Eye Dakai that we're look, we're focusing on right here. That's the biggest of the males. There's a, another one right there. Um, you can see that lovely blue iridescence and then the kind of yellow into orange finage. Uh, it just comes up so much better with this camera. And like you can see, it's not even like really washing out all the green in the background from the light amount of algae that's on my back. You can actually kind of see the wall behind it and stuff like that. Um, so it's just, I have to get a little more used to this, get some focusing and color correction stuff down. But once we get that, like definitely significant increase in our video quality. So we'll be able to see some better stuff in some of these sweet, sweet rainbows, um, just because they, they have such wonderful color. Um, at one point, you probably saw a little Kamaka swim through. He's a part of a rehome and there'll be another fish that we'll show off a little later in another video that came as that rehome. Uh, so look forward to that. We got some some new fish on the fish room too. Uh, not a whole lot, just some stuff from a rehome. And then uh, finally, my newest project. So this is a 40 breeder that I set up, whose sole job is to grow plants. That's it. Just gonna grow plants. And I had this uh, big plant order, um, and I got some more that'll come in a later shot. But let's go over this. You can see like tons of Alterna renekii on the right there um, that I've, I've had on my own growing out and I have way more than I thought I did. So now I'm trying to get some of the, the baby stems to grow out. So let's, uh, let's kind of cycle through them. We're going to zip over to the left here, right up front. These teeny tiny plants are red tiger cryptosporalis. So as this grows out, I'll show it to you. It looks really, really cool. Right now it's kind of a pinky color in the back, a little Ludwigia repens. That is, uh, some hygrophilia cordata red, Bacopa carolina, yellow flame. The very, very front there was Hygrophilia carambosa peruatota. Then in the back, that's Alterna renekii variegated, um, followed up by some Eustralis stellata, which isn't showing its full color quite yet. And then there, here's all that regular renekii. And then a couple stems that I got from Robert over at Aquarium Co-op of Pogostamon erectus. Uh, so like I said, this is a 40 breeder. You can see we've got an Aqua Clear 110 on it, a little bit of CO2 running into it, and then a Fluval 3.0 uh, plant light. And this is just kind of me playing with the camera, seeing like how well I can get a top-down shot of these plants. You can see, I, I love that plant right there. That's the the carom, carambosa peritotota. Just has such a it has such a unique texture. It doesn't get as tall. It stays very compact. Um, it's kind of like a mid-ground plant, sort of like uh, Renekii midi, or um, if you were to like really actively trim Renekii. Um, but that's about as tall as it's going to get. It might get a touch taller. Uh, and then finally, we're going to get into some really sweet rare crypts in just a second. And I'm going to go over them really fast because it's only a short clip. Um, so there's Crypt Wendedii, Pink Flamingo. Two types of Crypt Nuri, just kind of a regular Crypt Nuri. And then Crypt Nuri, Rosen Maiden. And then there's Crypt Jacobson Eye, 
the pink variety. So here you go. You can see the, the maiden is at the very bottom there. There's a couple of swords. There's the flamingo right above the maiden, then the Jacobs and I, and then the regular Nuri. Uh, and also to the side of the pink flamingo and the Jacobs and I is some Hooterodi. Uh, I'm really bad at pronouncing that. I apologize. But anyway, we'll we'll see this stuff as it grows out and give you some more. Thanks for watching, guys. Love to give you a short update. And we'll have some more coming up in the future.